folks at Bullfrog Spas, Smart Top. Uh, or he rides for the Bullfrog Spas, Smart Talk Honda team. It's Vince Freeze. What's up, Vince? How are you, man? What's going on? Thanks for having me on. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Obviously, look, uh, rough weekend for you for sure. And, uh, you know, I, I, I definitely think it, it wasn't ideal for you. Uh, it wasn't a great look, but on the other hand, Vince, I don't want to tar and feather you either. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't ideal, but, um, yeah, it, it is what it is. What, uh, take us through it from your end of things. And, and, and did you know it was him? Was he on you? Did you see the blue flags that take us through it a little bit on your side? So, yeah, I mean, I, I had no clue that he was right there when the actual incident happened. Um, I mean, I moved over for, for Kenny and Cooper, I thought I did a good job of, of getting out of the way for those guys. Mm-hmm. Um, I hopped back in right at the end of the whoops there. And actually, I think I had an active map in front of me and just kind of, I was kind of, he was going two laps down. So he was going a lap down to me and two laps down to mm-hmm. those guys, you know? So um, I was kind of thinking squeak past him and, and, and keep going. And, and he kind of stayed in the, in the same same group and we were coming up to that triple where it happened and you know i knew there's nothing that he could do or i could do on that triple so it's just kind of hold your line jump the jump and then and then get to the next turn or rhythm lane and 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 look back and and assess what's going on behind us and right um i mean i think he did the right thing too he 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 just jumped the jump in the normal race line and i followed him right off it and justin just tried to i think thread the needle in a spot that that just wasn't there. Um, I, I didn't know he was there. I mean, I was, I was doubling the double before the triple and mm-hmm. all of a sudden he's in the back of me, you know, now, um, that was a line you took I, all, all, all race or most of the race. Almost, almost yeah. the whole race. I actually, I, I switched it up once or twice, tried to, tried to go to the right and mm-hmm. almost crashed on that triple once or twice. And I, as I saw a couple other guys do as well, Right, um, and the ruts were bad. I think Malcolm, right in front of me in the heat, almost had a big crash there because over on the right side of that triple, the ruts were just nasty. So, right, right. So, um, right. Um, so no idea, and then he tagged you, and you're just like, oh boy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I mean, I pretty much I was like, oh crap, you know, because I knew it was for a guy to be coming that fast behind me to to rear in me over a double. It's like, yeah, that's that's somebody going fast and. Yeah, kind of. I had myself in a pretty good spot. I had a decent little race going. I'm battling with with Brayton for most of the race, and mm-hmm. I was feeling okay about like a you know a, a 11th, 12th place finish. And yeah, that kind of killed the end of my race, and my brain was kind of just going like, oh man, You're, like I knew I didn't do anything wrong, but it's just like, yeah, the leader ran into the back of me, or one of the leaders ran into the back of me, and yep. um, yeah, yeah, it, it was a bummer, kind of messed up what I felt like was it was a decent race I had going and um which uh which yeah, you needed by the way because it's it, it's been rough for you man it, it, your your, yeah. your your opening round was pretty good I remember a good qualifying time and a and a good race and then dude it has been one thing after another for you again not all your fault but just uh it's been a rough season for you yeah yeah I mean I, I felt the best I ever have at round one for sure yep um but yeah, it's it's part of it. I had that that get off at, in the in the heat race at the second one, kind of pulled my groin a little bit, and then I think that led to a, a crash in the whoops at the next round. Mm-hmm. I couldn't really squeeze my bike too well, and um, yeah, I mean, it seems like injuries can be magnets for more injuries, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's just kind of that. That's, it snowballed a little bit, but. Um, and don't you think yeah, with the I mean, for, I, I, and don't you think with the format we have now where. Like if you're on a roll, if things are going great, then awesome. Three races in a week are great. If things are going bad, three races in a week sucks, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's almost it's almost a continued one continued race. Yeah. Like you know, if you'd go to an amateur national back in the day and it was a a one week week long race, it's kind of the same deal. And yeah, I just I, I almost haven't had time to to regroup from from the uh, the first crash I had, and it's just kind of snowballed. But hopefully, we got a week here and. Um, I feel I, I made it through those last two without without a, a, a crash. Obviously, I we had that incident, but no crash. My body's healing. Um, I'm getting back to normal. So hopefully, I can get back to that round one form and and keep it on two wheels. You know, I'm right. usually not the guy to to crash. I might be the guy to run it in hard, but I'm not usually a a, a crasher like that. You know. Yeah. Hey Vince, it's uh, Kellen Brower here in studio. I was kind of curious of like the process when you are being lapped like how often are you maybe marking the leaders coming the other way in a rhythm lane not even like specifically with 
what happened this weekend, but like how often do you look at who's coming and how far back they are and, and when you might think about moving out of the way, how does that process usually play out? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's ideal when you can see them coming down the next lane, but um, it's not always the case, especially the way the tracks have been. You're so locked into, Mm -hmm. you know, just making it through the rhythm section with the ruts have been, you know, six, eight inches deep in the middle of a, of a triple quad section and <laughs> stuff like that. But yeah, the, the flaggers, the, the blue flag guys are supposed to, to, to be there and they are there, but they're a little, it's, it's tough. They're a little inconsistent. I don't know if it's different guys week to week or um, I, I don't know if those are the volunteer guys they have or, right. or whatever, but you know, sometimes you get a flagger that's, you know, standing almost in the middle of the track, giving you a blue flag and, the leaders are still two lanes behind you. So mm-hmm. then you're looking over your shoulder for three laps. And uh, yeah, then Kevin Rance, Kevin Rance was guy. just saying that he was on our show saying that they, they're, they're thrown way too early. A lot of the times, a lot of the times. And then every now and then you get, you know, the leaders will be right on you and the guy will be in the corner, barely, barely with the flag at his waist, barely yeah. waving it, you know? Yeah. And so it's not very consistent at all, but, um, you know, you still got to try to be aware, obviously. And I hate to be in that situation. I hate to be that guy. But um, in and, and this instance, I don't think I did anything wrong. I think Justin panicked and, and ran into the back of me. But um, it, it would be nice if we could have a better solution for it. I think my best my best idea would be radios and the helmet. I think yeah. that's the future anyways, and I think it's coming. It's just a matter of getting it dialed in and, and getting enough people to – to agree to it the sport yeah. is not big on on change but i, I think that's the future um we just had I've, a, I've ridden with one before yeah coy gibbs told me the guys couldn't really hear it too well i mean I, i've ridden with one and it it worked pretty well Did it? Okay. I rode at the practice track and i know i saw chad i, I think in in paris and i don't know if he did the monster cup but for sure in in one of the europe races chad had one on i'd be curious to see how it worked for him in the actual race Right. How difficult? I, I think that's the cure for this and and a lot of other issues. You know. How difficult is it though? I, I'm not sure how much experience you have now with it, but like, if someone is talking to you and you're you're maybe trying to listen to them, how hard is it to still focus on trying to get through these ruts and triple quad stuff and and all that on the track? Yeah, I mean, I I don't think you'd want a guy just talking to you the whole race. Yeah. <laughs> if you got the right if you got the right guy and he's talking to you at the right time, he waits for whatever it is, whatever you guys come up with in the air on the triple or down the straightaway mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Um, I think it could be, it could be beneficial in, in a lot of ways. I, I think it could be cool for TV. To, they could tap into that somehow. Did you, uh, did you try to talk to Justin or Tyler key for anybody after the race? Um, we did talk to Tyler a little bit um, after the race. And um, obviously he was pretty bummed out, but yeah. um, I tried to explain my side of it the best I could. And, and, um, and, you know, it's his guy. He's always going to be biased towards his guy. And, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I, I still feel really strongly that I didn't do anything wrong. I, I took my line. Um, if you watch it, Adam's right in front of me. He did the exact same thing right in front of me, he took the same line I took. And Justin was just, I think Justin panicked a little bit and tried to thread the needle in a spot that that wasn't there. I mean, if I mean, you if didn't, yeah, if you didn't know he was there. You know, like you said, you didn't see him sneak up on you that much. Yeah. And yes, you know. I had yeah, no clue. And, I mean, if I would have – I've had people tell you, what if you rolled the jump? Like, if you looked at the ruts in that triple, if I would have rolled it, I'd put myself in a in a really bad spot, you know, being rolling up the landing of that triple with the leaders coming behind me, you know, and, and you're kind of jumping left to right. You know, you go right to left on the double before and then left to right on the triple and – you just don't want to be there. I would have had to have just pulled off the track. If you know, that would have been my only other other yeah. option. And and right. I didn't I didn't know they were there. I was, like I said, I was following Adam. It's kind of like you know, there's spots on the track where you can move over, and there's spots you can't. And that was one that you kind of got to get through, and then and then look around after that, and 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 then try to try to get out of the way. But, right. Um, but Justin just tried to go for something that wasn't wasn't there. So we had Dean on after the uh, Roxon incident, and he told us how bad his social media was. Your stuff is is private, um, but did you get much blowback on on social or or I don't you know again like, like you know I don't know how much you're checking this stuff or like you know our fans obviously there's a lot of idiots out there. Um, how's it been for you since the incident? Yeah, I mean obviously I'm, there's a little bit, but I I don't really go on there too much. I mean 
I, I flew back. I didn't get Wi-Fi on the plane. I slept and, um, I've been home now today. I've been doing my first day. I've got to do like some normal training stuff. So I've been pretty locked into all that and, um, just enjoying being at home. So yeah, I haven't, haven't got the, got to really, or I guess purposely kind of stayed away from, right. from some of it and then just kind of enjoying being at, being at home a little bit. Right now, obviously, you know, things have happened with you in the past. You, you've been fined, uh, you've been suspended for a race, uh, you've come a long way since some of those moves that even I was uh, a very, uh, um, uh, I guess, uh, judgmental on you for. But when this shit happens, it's just like, oh man, uh, it, you know how it's, you know how it's going to be perceived, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's unfortunate. It, it's part of it, I guess. I guess some of it's earned, but um, I mean, all I can do is, is you know, watch it back, know what was going through my head, know what was going on and know that I didn't do anything wrong in this situation and, um, try to try my best to avoid stuff like this. But, um, it's kind of been, kind of been finding me a little bit lately, but yep. just do my thing, try to do the right thing, try to, try to race hard and, and yeah, that's all I really can do. Right. Yeah, no, for sure. Bullfrog spas, uh, smart top Hondas, Vince freeze on the show brought to you by vertex pistons, email sales at pivotworks.com. To save with those guys, full range of two strokes and four strokes uh, pistons is, is also they come stock on uh, KTM Husqvarna's and uh, and gas gases. I did have a question that doesn't relate to this situation at all. Being the only guy on the team riding the the twenty one four fifty, like how difficult is it to kind of like develop and test that bike without having really anybody else to lean on, and, and you are that guy that's just doing all the development on it. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of why they, they, they had me on that bike is mm-hmm. I think I, I helped and did a good job with the old bike. And, um, I mean, we got a lot of good guys I can lean on, you know, Tony is, Tony is kind of the number one guy and he's, he's my go-to guy and, um, we're pretty in sync on, on what works and what doesn't, you know, I can go usually ride a few laps and he can, he can tell me what I'm thinking after, you know, mm. so. Um, we're pretty, we're pretty locked in. Then we got Chad. That's, that's really good. Our engine guy, he knows Mm -hmm. exactly what I want and what I like. And, and that's, that's always worked for the other guys pretty well too. So, um, and then cause with the suspension has has been great too. So, um, we got a lot of good guys that I can lean on too. So, um, yeah, makes it, makes my job easier. I saw the, the footage, I saw a team footage from your crash, uh, at he, when did A-Ray hit you off the the double double? Was that Indy one? Um, Indy one, yeah. Indy one. I saw a team footage of that, Vince. You got off really lucky there. You basically did what Chad did on the Chatterpult, where you just land on the side of the jump. That was that could have been nasty. I did, yeah, and I felt so bad for A-Ray. <laughs> I left my, you know, I, right. I had to jump off the bike, and it just ended up in the worst possible place. And that was a, that was a really big jump too. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, that was, that was crappy. And that was one of those things. It's like one injury can lead to another. I, I probably wasn't riding at a hundred percent, but the track was, was pretty bad. The face of that jump was nasty. And I actually saw a few guys, I think Kenny oh, yeah. and yeah. a few other guys jumped off the side of that, that jump also. I think just when I did it, I was coming up short and going off the side too. So I was going to land on the tough block and yeah, I've, I've, I've learned my lesson with the tough blocks. I'd rather jump off the bike than land on one of those things, and you don't know <laughs> what's happening after you land on the tough block. Yeah, yeah, they're uh, they're gnarly, right? For sure. That, um, that, that's another thing that needs to, I think, be addressed and, and be changed. Yeah, well, I, I've I've ranted about this forever, Vince. Just put make them triangular, like we do in Europe. Make them longer. Uh, make them triangular. Make a base to them so they don't roll over on the tracks really easy. There's many things they can do to fix this yeah. tough block issue that they just have laying yeah. out on the track. It's crazy. I mean, every weekend, tough blocks are just rolling into the middle of the the rhythm sections, yep. and guys are hitting them and shooting shooting left and right. And yeah, it's 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 crazy. We haven't done anything about that. It's just yet. it's just money. It just costs money. Just buy new ones. Get new ones designed. It's really easy. They're already available. They're in Europe. You know, at at Bercy yeah. or wherever else. It's it's yeah. they're inflatable. They're they're triangular. There's many ways we can get rid of these things. But nope. Keep rolling yeah. these things out every 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 Saturday <laughs> night. Everybody, just uh, how yeah. many guys are gonna die? on a tough block yeah. crashes. So, um, Hey, so the AMA, uh, did you talk to the AMA about this a little bit? Did, uh, Gallagher or, uh, or, uh, Pel- Ka- uh, Mike Pelletier talk to you a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, we did. So basically I think they, what they're doing, they're giving me a warning for, you know, basically telling me to be more aware is, right. is what they've told me. So, um, yeah, I kind of feel like they had to do something with the amount of heat. Maybe people were, were putting out, yep. but I mean, 
I think if there's something legitimately I did wrong, I'm, I, I would get some sort of a, a real fine or suspension or something. You know, I, I, I like I said, I, yeah. I know I, I didn't do anything wrong in that situation. So, um, um, one of the uh, one of the things I I mentioned is you know you have a unique contract right where 15th place I don't know if it still is this way but 15th was a pretty good bonus and there wasn't anything for 16th and so you know one of those things that again like people don't understand like guys like yourself uh, uh, Dean Wilson uh, these are you guys are really great riders and you're getting lapped you know so people will be like ah oh, they're getting lapped but man there's a lot of stuff going on and at stake back in that pack too. Yeah, it is. It is. You know, you want to do good for yourself, for your team. Uh, you know, obviously there's money on the line. Yeah, and, and, and people forget there's a race there too. But, um, yeah, I mean, for me, I that night I just wanted to put in a good ride for myself just to mm-hmm. kind of get the train back on the track. You know, it's, it's it had been rough. But, um, yeah, I think I think it's, it's turning around. And, you hope so. Yeah. 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 I yeah. mean, I, I've, I've tweeted this a few times. I'm just like, this, the Vince is just, this is not going well. I, you're better than this. Uh, you've been better yeah. than this in the last few years, but good God. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. so, uh, and then when you go ahead and you have this good race, uh, this shit happens. And then you're just like, oh God, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it happens. It is what it is. I've had a pretty, I mean, it, I can't really post anything or show anything because it's basically my butt, you know, I'm, I almost got to be naked to show a picture, but pretty nasty what i've what i've been dealing with the hematoma and okay and then swelling and and yeah it's it's been pretty pretty nasty and um kind of just trying to ride ride through it Mm -hmm. but um yeah i i felt maybe at 80 percent at the last one and i think i think by orlando i should be back to to you know my normal self well uh i appreciate you coming on uh and talking about this uh just like we said we had dean on and and it's interesting for the fans and, and you know all these people on my all these jerk offs on my social media that we're talking shit on you today uh the phones have been open everybody the phones have been open but nobody calls in it's it's odd it's just odd like that i don't, I don't yeah. you know that's how these yeah. people are i feel bad I, you know i never want to be i never want to be that guy but you know i i'm i'm pretty um I, i'm sure that it was just in panicking in that situation yep um i think any of the other top guys cooper kenny Eli, I don't think would have tried threading the needle where he did. Right. Um, oh, I mean, you kind of see yeah. every year he he has he has some good rounds and he kind of blows himself up at some point. And it just it was unfortunate that it was my back wheel he was running into when he blew himself up yeah. this season. But yeah. part of it. I, I also uh, and again I like Barsha. Justin and I get along. We're fine. But you know that he came in on Kenny hot right early in the main, and it didn't look good. And then on his on Justin's social post, he's like. That was fine. We talked about that. I just missed, you know, that's all fine. Like, I'm yeah. just like, okay, that's cool. But then certainly Justin Marsha can understand some controversy from another rider. Yeah. He can understand yeah. that, right? Uh, you know what I'm talking about, Kellen? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, like the same thing that we're saying, like you were saying about on the review pod and stuff, where it's like we, we, we're looking at Freeze's situation here a bit in a vacuum, and JT wants to judge him on past things and stuff like that. I mean, Barsha kind of the same story where it's like right. you are known as Bam Bam and you're trying to downplay this, but you're still kind of Bam Bamming you're a little st- bit. You know, yeah. like- <laughs> if we're going to use the same judgment on Vince, let's use the same judgment on you and say that you were trying to break Kenny's leg in that instance. You know what I mean? Like, I don't believe he was. Right. But but, but if you're going to judge Vince by things that happened five years ago, yeah. let's judge Barsha by things that happened five years ago and be like, oh my God, Bam Bam was trying to kill Ken Roxham. So I, I just found that a little rich. That's all. And But, but I like Barsha. I, you know, I think he's been riding great, and mm-hmm. so I'm not trying to go there. But in this instance, you can certainly make a correlation. You right. Know? So, yeah. um, and he'll, by the way, too, I, uh, Mookie took you out last round. Uh, it wasn't a great. You're probably one of those things where you're like, oh shit. But he kind of apologized, right? Yeah, yeah. No, he was really nice after. I, I yeah, it was it was a bummer deal because I was I had a good race going, my best start. Yeah. I think I was in fifth. I think we were four laps in or something like that, and. Yeah, it felt really bad on the track, to be honest. And I, I it, it was it was a takeout, but watching the video back, it was kind of like you know he did a quad into the turn, like mm-hmm. triple into the turn, and he was carrying a lot of speed. And I, I, maybe he could have avoided it, maybe not. But um, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It no, I don't, not, I, mean, I don't think it was. I don't think it was one of those things where like oh, I'm going to take Vince down. It was just like oh shit, you know. But he did yeah. take you down. So. Yeah. Um, 
Well, thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate hearing your side of the story, and uh, I don't think it's going to help some of the fans out there, but but I think it'll help maybe some people that listen to to the show and and hear you talk about it. So, um, you know, bummer deal, uh, and you're on to Orlando. So, cool. All thanks right. Thanks for having me on. Thanks, Vince. Uh, that's Vince Freeze, everybody. Brought to you by VertexPistons.com. Email sales at PivotWorks.com. What do you What do you think, Kelly?